Hi guys, happy Easter! My kitchen has been restless for the past few days because we have been busy making treats for these holidays. We have spent the most peaceful and relaxing holidays making food together. I hope you too had a great time with your family. If you have any photograph of your Easter buffet, please feel free to share them at our new fan page at Facebook. I have baked this super delicious and moist carrot cake and I'm going to share with you this secret recipe right away. Okay, what is carrot cake? Carrot cake is a cake that contains carrot mix in a batter. The carrots are softened in the cooking process and the cake usually has a very soft and moist texture. This cake closely resembles a quick bread in a method of preparations. It can be eaten plain, but most commonly it is glazed with a top icing with cream cheese. I can't help noticing that this cake is quite a common dessert during Easter. And there are so many different recipes on the internet. Some are multi-layer, some are sheet cake, and some are in cupcakes. There are also optional ingredients such as resins, nuts, coconut, and even pineapples. I prefer the simple classic recipe with cream cheese frost topping. If you like this idea, follow me into my kitchen and I'll show you how to bake this delicious cake. Easter is quite a big deal in Sweden, so today in Cook and Chat, I will talk about how the Swedes celebrate their Easter. First, let's start with the ingredients. I prefer to use the younger carrots because I think that they are much sweeter compared to the bigger ones. By the way, did you know that carrot is considered one of the healthiest food in the world? I recently found out from the internet that carrots can help fight cancer, leukemia, and it also can help to improve vision, helps blood circulation, delay aging process, and improve immune functions. It's really cheap to buy carrots at the local supermarket here. If you're lucky, sometimes you can get it at 5 crown per kilo. In Sweden, Easter has become more of a secular holiday. Swedes still have respect for their tradition, but not necessarily for religious belief, but more out of customs. The Swedes concentrate more on family gathering, large feasts, and traveling around the countryside. During this long weekend, most Swedes often travel out to the countryside to wipe away the cold web of their summer house. Unfortunately, we are unable to get down to the summer house this Easter because the streets are being blocked by snow. One of the most favorite traditions here is usually decorating their home. The main Easter decoration in Sweden is a perch tree which is decorated with colored feathers and placed in walls around the house. And on Easter Eve, they paint the eggs and exchange candy eggs. And on Easter Day, they normally have a big dinner feast together. This meal is called post food, which consists of a creamy potato casserole, meatballs, pickled fish, boiled egg, and salmon. This Easter, I made ourselves some spinach crab wrapped in salmon and soft cheese. Hopefully, I can put them in videos and have it on my next tutorial. As for drinks, the children drink a special dark brown carbonated beverage flavored with secret ingredient called postmust. Whereas the adults usually drink beer or hot liquor. Lamb steak is one of the common dish eaten on Easter Sunday, but instead of making a steak, I've made ourselves some soup. And of course, with my Asian touch. This is a famous Indian Singapore curry lamb soup. In Indian, it is called kambing soup. And I have a very interesting story to tell behind this recipe. In the Asian time, the sweet believed that Easter was a time when witches stole household broom and flew to the Blue Mountain to consult the devil. Today, children dress up as an Easter witch with head scarf and painted red cheek and go door to door with a couple cactus looking for trees. Sweets and candy are part of Swedish Easter tradition and you can find them in various shapes and colors. Sometimes you can find families even organize sweet egg hunt for their kids. 
To participate, you just need to follow the clue in order to find the hidden sweets. Mm, here I need to highlight, you just need 2 to 3 drops of lemon juice, not more. If you watch carefully on the next clips, you notice that I add more than 3 drops of lemon juice. This is the mistake I made, and at the end, I end up adding more flour sugar in order to reach this consistency. Before you decorate the cake, make sure you have everything right in front of you. Make sure that the cake are cooled properly. Using a cream spatula, spread out the cream frosting evenly. You can always add on another layer later on. Carefully and gently spread the frosting upward. Next, decorate the cake with the mini calf carrots. Let the cake rest in the refrigerator for at least 2 hours before you cut them. Frankly speaking, because I'm an Asian, I feel like this cake is a bit too sweet for my taste. I notice the carrot itself is quite sweet. Maybe it is okay to reduce the amount of sugar in this case. If you have a sweet tooth, this is a recipe for you. If not, you may reduce the amount of sugar. I hope you give this recipe a try and send me a comment. In my next tutorial, I will show you how to make this awesome and healthy spinach crisps with salmon roll. I have also made a vegetarian for those of you who are vegetarian. This will be a wow factor canopy for your guests. To go along with this, I am including a bonus recipe how to make an alcohol-free strawberry cocktails. Thank you for watching, subscribing and sharing our video. I hope to see you again on Tuesday. Take care. Bye.